Hi, this is Robert Flyhigh, Paramotors.com. Today, I'm going to be doing a comparison on the Air Conception Nitro 200 versus the Air Conception Tornado 280. I'm going to be pointing out what the differences uh, on these two paramotors are, and um, just going to help you try to decide which model is right for you. So stay, stay tuned, and let's get into it. All right, so on the right, we have the Air Conception Nitro 200 and on the left we have the Air Conception Tornado 280. So right off the bat you can probably see that the uh, Air Conception Nitro uh, is a, has a smaller uh, diameter frame. So that's equipped with a 140 centimeter uh, diameter frame and the Air Conception 280 is equipped with a 150 centimeter diameter frame. So the difference in between those two diameters is if you're going to be running a bigger propeller, uh, you want the bigger frame. So you want the 150 centimeter frame. So that's why uh, you can see the Air Conception 280 has a bigger diameter frame. Other than that, everything is pretty much uh, the same. Uh, you're going to have the same high quality harness. Okay, so guys, it's important uh, when you're shopping for a paramotor that you really check out uh, all the features of the paramotor. And one of the biggest features is the paramotor harness. You want it to have uh, really well padding on it. Uh, you want the buckles and everything to be really easily uh, be able to adjust. So you can see here, nice thick padding on it. Nice uh, vented padding here in the back. Okay. Another big deal here is um, the seat board. The seat board on this paramotor is carbon fiber, as you can see in here. Kind of hard to tell, but it's all carbon fiber. What that does is it uh, makes it really lightweight. Um, you got amazing uh, buckle systems on it. Uh, you got low hang points, um, which also is compensating for the torque, and they're also weight shiftable. So in the, in the air, this will move when you're flying. So other than that, that's all the same. You got basically the same uh, lightweight uh, throttle. This is, um, both models are uh, have uh, electric start. So you're gonna have your kill switch up here and your start button down there. Uh, comes with a nice pocket here, okay? Now what you can also do is if you decide to get a uh, reserve, um, you can mount a reserve, you'll lose one pocket. But the reserve mounts here, nice and clean, so it zips up here. Uh, it's a really cool feature because um, you don't have the reserve hanging in your lap or kind of jerry rig somewhere on the bar. It's nice and secure there. It's always there. You don't have to worry about it. So um, it's pretty much the frame and everything is the same. Uh, on the 280, you're going to have a little bit updated netting, so the netting will come all the way down, whereas this one kind of stops here. So the netting is a little bit nicer on the 280. Um, where we can see difference is going to be back here. So you can see here on the cylinder head here, you're gonna have it uh, kind of smaller versus a little bit bigger cylinder head right here. That's just to accommodate for the bigger piston in there. Okay, uh, another key feature is, is um, I like to order the, the 280 with the three blade 130 centimeter prop. So you have the top line propeller here from E-Props, carbon fiber. It's really, really nice, great props. And the Nitro also comes with, uh, with the E-Props on there. On this particular model, we have the 125 centimeter prop. Um, you can order the Nitro uh, with uh, 130 centimeter, but what you're going to do is just upgrade to the slightly larger frame. It's a different viewpoint. It's not that much larger. So, um, what we have here, uh, let's just kind of get into the specs. Um, the Air Conception Nitro 200 is um, 28 horsepower. And the Air Conception 280 is going to be 33 horsepower. The Air Conception Nitro 200 weighs around 46, 47 pounds. And keep in mind, this is equipped with electric start and clutch. So it weighs about 46, 47 pounds. Um, the Air Conception 280 with, again, uh, electric start and clutch is going to weigh 49 pounds. So right off the bat, guys, you have 
two of the lightest, most powerful paramotors on the market here with clutch and electric start. Okay. It's a little bit closer to look. You can see the the body of the engine is um, painted black. It's really nice, cool look to it. You can also now get these paramotors option with a with an optional chrome exhaust, which makes it look really, really nice. Or just have it black. So what I suggest is if you weigh over 220 pounds, 230 pounds, then I would suggest um, possibly getting the Air Conception 280 if you have good throttle control. Um, if not, if you're under 220, 230 pounds, the Air Conception 200 uh, would work great for you. Additionally, you can order the Air Conception with the larger propeller, which will give you more thrust. Um, the thrust difference on these two engines is uh, the Air Conception Nitro 200 has uh, 68 to 75 kilograms of thrust and uh, Air Conception 280, uh, 280 has uh, about 78 to 85 pounds of thrust. Okay, um, so that's kind of where, where that goes and I'm not sure if those readings are with uh, exactly what propeller I'm just going off what the manual says but I know I think they're um, probably on the 125 centimeter props so if you're upgrading the props those thrust numbers will be higher more than likely <clears throat> so that's kind of the difference you're just getting more power out of the 280 you're getting a more immediate power uh, the nitro power comes on really linear and smooth and um, it's just very manageable. Uh, e it's an easy, easy manageable uh, power band. Whereas the 280 will, uh, you know, come on uh, suddenly and quickly, and you better be holding on. Um, so it's very important you have good uh, throttle control, uh, so you don't push too much throttle uh, and then you know kind of jerk you around. But uh, again, guys, this is you're looking at two of the most powerful paramotors out there, and you know. You guys are coming in in a really lucky time with the sport because you're getting clutch, electric start, a 200cc paramotor that weighs like 46, 47 pounds or a 280cc paramotor that weighs 49 pounds with clutch and electric start. Um, you know, there, there's, there's nothing out there that has more power and uh, weighs less than this. Um, there's, you know, guys out there selling 80cc paramotors out there, okay? that weigh basically as much as a Nitro 200 or more. And it doesn't have, you know, electric start. So, um, what can we say about the frame here? So the frame is a carbon fiber uh, spars here. And the entire frame overall is all titanium, titanium swing arms. So it's a titanium carbon fiber paramotor which is what makes it also so light and uh, the motor itself is super light. So when you're buying a paramotor, what it really comes down to, in my opinion, is, um, you know, how much power does it have? Uh, does it have electric start? Does it have clutch? And how much does it weigh? Because you can be carrying these things on your back. So uh, the lighter you can get a paramotor, the easier it's going to be uh, to walk around with it, to take off with it, to run with it, um, to land with it. So uh, it's that's you know really the most important features out there is is just getting a very lightweight paramotor. These titanium frames are actually really strong. Um, both of these units I train uh, people on. These these units are basically a year old, and um, we went through an entire year of training a lot of people. And you can see they're not damaged and they're not broken. Um, we actually didn't replace any frame parts on it the entire year. So, and we've had, you know, butt landings and, um, you know, people falling down and over and the frames held up good. So I know from experience, these frames can withstand, you know, the abuse. And so they're, they're strong enough. Uh, again, the harnesses are really, really comfortable. 
And uh, what's really, really amazing about the Air Conception paramotor is when you have it on your back, it's, it's very uh, lightweight. It feels very, very well balanced. The balance is the key. Even though you might have a light paramotor, if the balance is off, it's going to weigh a lot heavier. Let me just show you how it looks like on your back, just so you can see. Okay, so I have the Air Conception Nitro 200 on my back here. And just notice how straight I am when I'm, when I'm standing here. So you can see I'm straight. I'm not trying to lean over like this and balance out the paramotor. Anytime you see a guy walking like this with a paramotor on his back, really leaned over, it's because they're trying to find the center of gravity because the paramotor isn't really well balanced. So you can see here, very well balanced. Paramotor, paramotor sits nice and high up on my back, which is really important. So uh, balance is everything and just having a lightweight paramotor is very important. So it's important when you're shopping around for a paramotor, you basically ask some questions. Uh, how much power does it have? How much does it weigh? Does it have electric start? Does it have clutch? Does it have a um, low hang point weight shift harness? Does it have a comfortable harness? These are all questions you need to ask. And um, it's, it's really, really hard to find good gear out there, guys. There's a lot out there. Uh, and another important thing that you really have to consider is the support and after support when you buy one of these uh, paramotors. So Air Conception comes with a two-year warranty that's uh, industry leading. We can, you can even get an optional five-year warranty uh, to cover you for all the problems you may have. So, you know, Air Conception stands behind their product and uh, we have parts available for you and um, we'll always be here to take care of you. So another thing again guys is weight. Um, I know I keep going over it but um, there are paramotors out there again that weigh much more than these. Again Air Conception Nitro with clutch and electric start weighs around 47 pounds. Uh, Air Conception 280 with clutch and electric start uh, weighs 49 pounds. There are paramotors out there that have neither a clutch or electric start on them and they weigh well over 60 pounds. So, you know, you, you really got to watch out what you're getting there because at this point there's no reason to get a paramotor that weighs way more than an Air Conception paramotor does and has way less features. No clutch, no electric start, no weight shift. Uh, weight shiftable harness um, so here you're getting the state-of-the-art paramotor you're getting a titanium frame uh, titanium carbon frame you're getting one of the best the lightest weight harnesses this harness is made in France air conception paramotors are made in France and really amazing setup I mean just look how nice and neat uh, you can store your uh, reserve always there out of the way um, you know everything is the highest quality that you can get lightest highest quality carabiners here so it's really important to check all the features out before you buy a paramotor and not just let a salesperson convince you that they're selling the best product out there you know why is it the best product out there does it you know is it is it setting is a paramotor setting industry standards uh, like the air conception uh, meaning does it have all the features you can get uh, electric start clutch does it weigh under 50 pounds so these are very important uh, you know questions uh, you, you really need to ask yourself before you make a purchase because with uh, air conception paramotors you have all these features uh, you have a paramotor that weighs under 50 pounds and it's got electric start and clutch weight shift harness carbon fiber propeller um, you know these these are amazing uh, features look how nice just that uh, that um, tank is in there you know it's 11.4 liter tank uh, plenty of fuel you can get about three three and a half hours of flight out of uh, that tank there both on the nitro and 280 so this is the little battery right here uh, so the battery, uh, it will come with two, two lithium batteries. I mean, look how tiny that is. Uh, that battery there is um, good for like 50 plus starts, 50, 60 starts. Then you also have an additional battery for backup. So I, can't, I just can't stress it enough. I mean, I, I always ask myself, why would people still be buying a 
pull start paramotor. A pull start paramotor is, is, isn't easy to start, especially in the air. Um, and especially when the motor is cold, when you start it up, you're yanking, you're yanking on it. And um, even, you know, when you're flying and you're sitting inside that harness, you really got to extend your arm to start it. Um, it just ruins the joy of flying a paramotor. Whereas with, uh, you know, one of these air conception paramotors, you can just push the button and it starts. Um, you know, I've had where uh, the paramotor have stopped on me and um, I might have hit the kill button by an accident or something happened. And, you know, I was close to the ground and there was no time for me to actually try to, you know, let go of everything and try to yank on that cord and try to start uh, the paramotor up. So what did I do? I just pushed a button and the motor started back up. So, you know, safety also by having an uh, you know, electric start. Clutch on, uh, on the paramotor again, guys. Um, there's numerous benefits. The clutch doesn't spin uh, unless you're, uh, the propeller doesn't spin unless you're giving it gas. So um, the, the propeller just kind of just stays there, neutral, and um, it's just so many benefits. If you happen to fall over and you don't kill the motor, you're not going to break your prop. If the wing falls on you, you're not going to wrap up the, uh, the lines in, in the propeller um, and so on. So uh, there's numerous benefits. You know, I train people all year round on these machines, and I can tell you uh, how many times the clutch and... Uh, uh, saved us because uh, people falling over, wings falling on us, lines getting into the propeller. If we didn't have uh, the clutch on the paramotor, we would have chewed up the glider, the glider lines. So, you know, all these features, they're very important to have. It's a little closer look again. You can tell the quality workmanship of this paramotor. There really isn't anything that I can compare it with, with, with it out there. Um, lightest, most powerful units out there. So there's a little side-by-side -side comparison of the Air Conception Nitro 200 and the Air Conception Tornado 280. Um, both great paramotors. Uh, I recommend new pilots that are, again, under 220 pounds. Just go ahead and start with the Nitro. Um, you, you won't uh, regret it. It's got plenty of power. Um, all the training we do is basically done on the Nitro. Um, I just finished training, uh, doing a class here and I had a guy that was 265 pounds and he was flying the Nitro 200 without any problems and he came down and he's like, I don't need more power, <laughs> you know? So it just really depends on how power hungry you are. But um, the Nitro is good, you know, but if, you, like I said, if you're weighing about 240, it's nice to have that extra kick of power. But when you're new, you probably aren't really asking for that extra power. So it's just one of those things. Now, the extra power will help you uh, maybe take off a little faster because you got more thrust. Um, it'll help you with your climb rate if you're a heavier guy. But uh, again, if you're under, you know, 220 pounds, um, you know, you're not really going to notice, uh, you know, you, the benefits really I mean you'll feel the difference but um, uh, it's not really necessary is what I'm trying to say so um, but amazing thing about the air conception paramotors also is um, you know back in the day uh, you know even five years ago and not, not even talking ten years ago I couldn't fly a paramotor that had more than 120 cc's and the reason being is the crazy torque steer those motors put out um, and um, so I couldn't find anything more powerful because I'd be twisted sideways the air conception you can see on the arms they have um, these little uh, the arms are basically pivoted to counter the torque steer and also on newer and modern uh, paramotors that are designed properly like the air conception you'll see also the engine is not vertical it's horizontal so basically the mass of the of the motor here the piston and the cylinder is off to the left side because this paramotor torques to the right so by having this, the, the, the engine um, horizontal, not vertical, you're putting more weight on this side, which is then leveling off the torque steer of the paramotor. So little things like this uh, have made a huge difference. And now I'm able uh, to fly uh, you know, a 280cc paramotor and I'm, I weigh only 140 pounds. So, um, and I barely have any torque steer out of this machine. So it's super manageable. Um, you know, these features that the Air Conception um, 280 and the Nitro 200 have, uh, have been on my 
bucket list since I've started flying a paramotor. My bucket list uh, and my wish list for having an amazing paramotor was first, give me electric start, give me clutch, um, give me a, at least a 200cc paramotor, and the biggest, uh, give me a paramotor that has all these features that weighs under 50 pounds. And Air Conception has delivered on both models. Two most powerful and lightest paramotors out there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Uh, if you're interested in buying an Air Conception Nitro 200 or Air Conception 280, uh, please visit www.flyhighparamotors.com and um, just give us a call or email, email us and we'll be able to hook you up with one of these beautiful, lightweight, powerful machines. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a dream, a dream flying these machines. They fly beautifully and um, you'll love them as much as I do. So take care and uh, thank you for watching this video.